right too, mate. There Look it at is. that. Sometimes it's the morning star, sometimes yeah. it's the yeah. evening star. That's the story from the Koori people over the east, that yeah. when Venus comes this way, they, they, they say an ally to us, and then we say ally to them. When it goes back? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's a nice story. Many people tell stories about creation. And At the Edinburgh Royal Observatory, Jim Dunlop and Ross McClure are trying to see the cosmic dawn by tunnelling deep into space. What we're trying to achieve is see the beginning of things. See when the first structures in the universe formed. First stars, first galaxies. And to do that, they have been using the Hubble Space Telescope to take one of the most important pictures ever. We're looking at an ordinary patch of sky. In this case, a little bit to the right of Orion, but it's a tiny, tiny area, smaller than my fingernail, that looks blank to the human eye. It may look blank with the naked eye, but Hubble is allowing Jim and Ross to tunnel deeper into the distant universe than ever before in their search for ancient light from the cosmic dawn. We're trying to look back as far as we can to the beginning of time, as close to the Big Bang as we can manage. Here we have Orion, a constellation that many people will recognize, and we're zooming in, tunneling in, to collect the faint light from the most distant objects in the universe, they use what may be the longest exposure in cosmic history. During the course of 650 orbits, they pointed Hubble at the same tiny thumbnail patch of dark sky for a hundred hours. As we go deeper, tunneling into deep space, and we start to see very faint galaxies appear. As they tunnel, they are reaching further back in time. Because the further away something is, the longer its light has taken to reach us. And what we see of a distant object is how it looked in the distant past. One of the simplest ways to look at it is to realize that even the sun is seen as it was eight minutes ago. So if the sun disappeared, we wouldn't know for eight minutes. And if Jupiter disappeared, we wouldn't know for about an hour or something like that. And what's really staggering is that once you get to the nearest galaxy, that delay is already several million years. Which means that we're seeing these galaxies as they were millions of years in the past. Deeper down the tunnel, there are galaxies that we see as they were many billions of years ago. And here we start to come into this image of what's called the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. And these galaxies now we're seeing back to within a billion years or so of the Big Bang. So this here is the, the deepest ever image of the night sky ever taken. The deepest image shows the oldest things, galaxies that formed less than a billion years after the Big Bang. That tiny, if you like, borehole that we've made into the sky. So it is a window into a very different time. For three months, Jim and Ross had exclusive first access looking through this window in time. We were the first people to look at this data. And they set about analyzing the ancient light for signs of the earliest stars and galaxies. There's this one object in there uh, from the thousands that are in that image that we identified as being potentially the most, the most distant object that ever had been seen by anyone. This one here is the most distant of all. This is a zoomed in, it's just literally a faint blob. And there's only a few photons of light being collected to see this object, which we're seeing only 500 million years after the Big Bang. This faint blob turned out to be an entire galaxy. 
see it's not a star, it's not point-like. You can see it's slightly extended, which proves it's a galaxy, maybe about 20 times smaller than our Milky Way. But that's about all we have in this galaxy. We can't even measure its colour very well. It's only just detected by Hubble in its very reddest wavelength. There's a certain excitement to being the first person to ever look at that image and from that image to see this, see this object that nobody's ever seen before. And until the next generation of telescopes come online, it's as far away as we can possibly see. This was, interestingly, the, the most distant object you could see with Hubble. Hubble's incapable of seeing any further than this object. I guess it also means no one's going to pip you for the next few years. Correct. Yeah. <coughs> Until the next. We are the record holders for a few more years. Yeah, that's right. yeah. Ross and Jim have identified the earliest galaxy ever found. It was born more than 13 billion years ago. You can do the sticking since you get young kids so you're used to this stuff. It's a picture that takes us right to the edge of the Dark Ages. Which way up is it? We've filled one more page in the cosmic album, taken one step closer to creation. But for now, that's the limit. Using this method, the cosmic dawn and the very first stars still remain tantalizingly out of reach.